there's a little town named Little Valley, and that town is filled with scandal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Acme Comedy Theater's presentation of the improvised soap opera Scandal. You may be wondering what's going to happen tonight, but don't ask us. We have no idea. Now let's turn to today's headlines. Sean Bloodstone, while hospitalized on mad cow sickness, confessed her love too. Mitch Finkelstein, her BFF, who ironically is in love with. Brian Bloodstone, the brother to Sean, who recently was promoted at the bank by this man. Jethro Billy Bob Bushwood, the meatpacking baron, who uh, bought the bank and fired this man. Jimmy Golden, a good-hearted man who recently got married to this woman. Darla Dean, who's come into a fortune recently and has inherited the country club from. Jessica Goldwater, who not only lost the country club, but gained the bowling alley, unfortunately lost her man whore, this man. Stone Rocket who is in a struggle with his daughter to prove that she's a Romanian princess. She is Hope Rocket, who could possibly be a princess and rule all of these people. They are the folks who live and breathe and walk among us. Now, folks, sit right back, relax, and enjoy tonight's exciting episode of Scandal! Over at the Bloodstone household, recently released, Mitch Finkelstein and Sean Bloodstone were ordered to spend some time together in the hospital's new outpatient buddy system. What a strange occurrence this will be, since now the BFFs have an awkward sexual tension.
what kind of brother are you? I'm ready to love again, and you're taking that love away from me! Help me! Help me! Darla Dean goes into the country club office, the place she believes to be her own, except who is refusing to leave? Why, it's Jessica Goldwater. savings and loan. Brian Bloodstone walks in. He's confused. What has happened? Not only is he confused, but Jimmy Golden's sitting inside in the same sort of relationship conundrum. Maybe they can commiserate together. For some reason, I maybe to, to clear things up with you, 
Ryan, maybe you and me should be friends and not foes. <laughs> Look, love has taught me one thing. Money is <laughs> unimportant. <laughs> You don't need money, Brian, to find happiness. All you need is to find what's in here, the old ticker. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Golden. I'm turning bad and I don't know why. Maybe you can help me find the path to goodness and... Maybe we can find a path together, Brian. <laughs> Hope Rocket heads over to the Little Valley Goldwater Country Club. But before she can get up to see her supposed whorish adopted mother, she runs into one Jethro Billy Bob Bushwood. Today we bring. Uh, I think 
that's just about everything. Well, look, we have a visitor. Oh, oh. do we? Uh, he's an American. Ah, that's right. Stone Rocket. <laughs> I know this sounds a little funny, but <laughs> see that picture up there of your former queen who was murdered horribly? Yes, it was a terrible day for Romanians. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, it's 1990, if I remember correctly. We'll take your word for it. Just yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay, she lives on. You yeah, know. that's the thing. I think she does live on. And I've got the paperwork here to prove it. I know it's hard to imagine that paperwork could prove that my daughter <laughs> is the daughter of your Romanian queen now dead. But I think it has. Do you mean your daughter has Romanian blood? Yes. You see, I was in Romania walking down the street when what I thought to be a whore riding in a horse-drawn carriage and wearing a tiara handed a little baby to me. Turned out she was royalty. Have a look at those papers. They'll prove it, I swear. I look at the papers. I look at them intently. Yeah, what? It's right there. There's one more paper. It's a letter. If you check her handwriting, I think you'll find this matches exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful day for Romania. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's great. Great. Stop it. Uh, what, is that your name? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great day for Romania, but it's a pretty terrible day for Stone Rocket. Because <laughs> I'm about to lose my baby girl. Suppose you're gonna want to take her to Romania! <laughs> Make her a freaking princess! Oh god! Yes, that is exactly what we want to do. Please, where do we find your daughter? We must have her to take her to Romania right now. Please, stop her blabbering and tell us. Stop your blabbering and tell us where we can find her. Please, tell us where we can find her. I can't understand a word you're saying, it's just amazing! I can't get it, it's really exaggerated! Oh, she's down at the church! Oh, exactly! We need to go find her! Lock up the embassy, will you please? Thank you! Uh, uh, the door behind I will! I'm just gonna put the table back in its place. <laughs> Over at the Bushwood Meatpacking Plants, one Sean Bloodstone is doing a little snooping around. You know, she's a SWAT team member. I don't know if you read her shirt. But she runs up against a very cool and off-putting Sally Shore, Jethro Bushwood's neurotic assistant, who's been in India for the past two weeks. <laughs>
Jimmy Golden goes down to the Little Valley Bowl to find his sweetie, his wife. Only he runs into her evil, slightly bruised now, stepsister Jessica Goldwater. Not so 
snap this goddamn neck! Alright, that's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the hardball tactic, it didn't work, Mick, please, God, please! She's my little girl, I want an injunction placed on her getting out of this town with Romanians. <laughs> or anyone else for that matter! It's a long story. I can explain it, but just trust me. The Romanians are trying to get her, and I want to keep her safe because I love her so goddamn much! I'm sorry I threatened you, Mitch. I know we used to be buddies with benefits. They were good benefits. Hell yes. I hate the Romanians. Why do you hate Romanians? Because what? Is it cause is that why your leg is shorter one than the other? Yes! It's because of the goddamn Romanian! Yes! She can get out Jessica Goldwater forever. How in 
the hell am I going to do that? I just got to keep my temper under wraps. I can do that. That's a good start. And don't spill anything on that. It's the only copy. The only copy. That's right. Yeah. You don't see any reason to have more than one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll spill nothing on it. It's safe right here. Ain't nobody going there. I agree. <laughs> safe. It's Nine hours. I can do it. Nine hours. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. <laughs> Jethro Bushwood and Hope Rocket are skipping to wherever it is they were going when they run into Brian Bloodstone. He's got the Little Valley Bowl deed in hand and he's got a revenge bloodlust. comes in. She's looking for Darla Dean, but doesn't realize who happens to be there. It's Jimmy Golden. Maybe they can find out a plan to save the bowling alley. Or maybe not. Alright, time to go. Time, time to go. I, I've been 
told you're supposed to not not supposed to be here, so oh, time right. to go. Uh, <laughs>
stand in line. She's mine. I've been holding in this vengeance for a long time. She's someone that needs to pay. Yeah, she needs to pay. And she's been hanging out with what used to be my bowling alley. So why don't you go over to the bowling alley and get her and rip her face off and do all that stuff you want to do, but over at the bowling alley. No, I think I'm going to stay here. I'm going to wait till she comes back here. I don't know. And then I'm just going to go to town. Yeah, you know what? She don't even come here no more. She just loves that bowling alley so much. She, she really likes to be on lane eight. So no, 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 that racket in here. We're uh, practicing for the for the community. We're having a private conversation, hey, no. so why don't you just get the hell out of here? Hey, he and really leave us alone. Hey, he he
back at the Bushwood packing plant. Sally and Sean Bloodstone are behind the bar. A shot has rung out. Jethro Bushwood enters, hearing the shot. Who is stricken? Just real going to do with the lesbians! Yeah. 